This is the third video in the series using the Pokies 57 CNC controller with the Mach 4 CNC software. In the previous video, we connected the Pokies 57 CNC controller to a stepper motor driver and a stepper motor. And we confirmed that the motor worked by testing the motor and showing it spinning. In this video, I'll show how to connect an emergency stop or e-stop switch and limit switches. The part of the controller that is responsible for receiving input is this connector, which is the e-stop connector, and this section of connectors here. For the emergency stop switch, you'll need a connector like this. This is a really small and delicate connector, so be careful because the connector has a small thin piece that sticks out here that is used for the orientation of the connector. This is a four pin connector and you'll also need a four conductor ribbon cable. The connector is number one pin or where the red conductor of the ribbon cable will go is on the same side as where this piece sticks out. The best tool that I have found to easily clamp these and other IDC ribbon connectors is this Kinepex wrench plier combo. They do not sponsor me, I just love this tool. The jaws of the Kinepex tool stays parallel with each other, so the clamping force is evenly distributed across the entire connector, as long as the connector will fit within the length of the jaws. I will insert the ribbon cable so that the red conductor is on the side of the connector that has a piece sticking out. Make sure you insert the cable this way, or the cable will conflict with the neighboring IDC connector on the controller. Also make sure the cable does not stick out of the other side of the connector so that there is nothing to conflict with the neighboring connector on the board. I will carefully position the connector between the jaws of the Kinepex tool. Squeeze lightly until the connector parts meet and click. Now you have a very secure connection. The conductors within this ribbon cable we will be using for the e-stop switch are the two conductors in the middle, numbers 2 and 3. So you can remove the two outside conductors, if you wish, before inserting the connector into the controller. On the board that I've already completed, you'll notice that I only have two conductors here, the middle ones, with the ones on the sides shortened. This is the connector on the board that will receive the connector and ribbon cable that we just assembled. Notice the neighboring connector that poses an obstacle to the ribbon cable. There is also a jumper next to the e-stop connector that will need to be removed and positioned on pins number 4 and 6 of the pendant connector. The 4 and 6 pins is also another e-stop connector, but is used by a wired pendant which contains an e-stop of its own. If you are using a wired pendant, then you can just remove the jumper from the controller entirely. Now you can go ahead and insert the e-stop connector and cable assembly. Make sure to align and position it correctly so the little piece that sticks out does not break. I have the two conductors of the e-stop connector broken out to two terminals on a long terminal strip. I will use the normally closed side of the e-stop switch. The side is colored orange. The other side is bright green which is normally open. The cable that is used for this is a two conductor shielded cable to eliminate the possibility of noise coming into the signal. This cable has an exposed conductor that is in contact with the shield throughout the length of the cable. This electrical noise that is present on the shield of the cable is connected to the black wire which is connected to ground. The red wire is connected to the input signal terminal. In a normally closed state, the two ESOP connections are connected until the switch is engaged. Once engaged, the connections on this side of the ESOP is broken. The wires coming from the e-stop connector on the Pokies 57 CNC controller is connected to this long terminal strip. I'm taking the two wires coming from the e-stop switch and securing them into the two terminal connections that are connected to the e-stop wires from the Pokies 57 CNC controller. Now that the e-stop has been connected, we can go into Mach 4 and configure the e-stop switch so it functions correctly. Double click on the Mach 4 loader icon. You want to select the profile that has the configuration that you've been working on or the profile that you typically use. 
and press OK. You'll notice that it says eStop cleared. That's because we connected the eStop to the eStop connector on the Pokies 57 CNC controller. If the status doesn't show that the eStop is cleared or you want to confirm uh, the connection configuration, then click configure, click plugins, and click on Pokies plugin Polabs. Click on the Pokies device in the list and click on the tab at the top that says Pulse Engine Page. Since the eStop switch was connected in normally closed configuration, you want to make sure that the Invert Emergency Stop Input checkbox is not checked. If the green side or the normally open side was connected with the eStop switch, then you need to check that box. Now let's go ahead and test the eStop switch. Go ahead and press OK to get out of this dialog box and click OK to get out of the plugins configuration selection. I'm going to press in the eStop button. You'll see that there is an eStop condition appears in the status. If I release the eStop, you'll notice that the status is now changed to eStop cleared. You can also see the status of this eStop button in the diagnostic screen. So click on diagnostics tab and in the emergency input signals, you can see that light up when I engage this, the eStop. And then when I release the eStop, you can see that the light goes away. Now let's talk about connecting limit switches. The signals for the limit switches are on this connector here and on this terminal strip here. Each axis has a minus minus, a plus plus, and a home signal. The plus plus limit of an axis is at its greatest extent of that axis. The minus minus limit is at the near end of an axis, and the home position is the location where the machine will have its origin. These two pins at the lower portion of this header are ground pins, and the two pins on the top here of this header are also ground pins. Since this board is able to have eight axes or eight separate motors, four on this side and four on this side, you also have the ability to have eight limit switches and eight home switches. You'll notice the way I'm wiring this board here. The first two ground wires are not connected, but the next six are, and those are the X, Y, and Z for both home and limit, minus minus. And then on the terminal, I have the white wires serve as ground wires and the green wires are X, Y, and Z plus plus limits. I'm going to demonstrate connecting three limit switches. One for the home, one for the plus plus, and one for the minus minus. I'm using shielded cable and there are two conductors in each cable. I'm using really short cables just for demonstration purposes. Of course, you'll want to use shielded cable because these are really susceptible to noise and enough noise can stop the machine. I connected all the black conductors together along with the shield conductor since these will be going to the ground terminal. I'm using wire ferrules to terminate the ends of these wires. I put a link in the description where you can get these wire ferrules and the tool to crimp them. You'll see on the switch itself that I'm wiring these switches in the normally closed configuration. This lead here is the common lead where the ground wire is connected. This lead is the normally open lead, which is not connected. And this lead is the normally closed lead. When the limit switch is not engaged, these two wires are normally closed or they are connected. When the switch is depressed or engaged, then that connection is cut or it becomes open. So now I'm going to connect the black wires to the ground and the three red wires to their respective plus plus minus minus and home connections. I will start with the ground wires. The next wire is connected to the X plus plus. This is the home for the X axis and this is the minus minus for the X axis. This is the home for the Y axis. This is the minus minus for the Y axis. This is the home for the Z axis and this is the minus minus for the Z axis. I'm going to start up the Mach 3 loader again and select the profile that I selected before. Let's configure these limit switches to work in normally closed mode for the x-axis. Go to Configure, Plugins, select the Pokies plugins, and double click the Pokies device you want to configure. Go to the Pulse Engine page and 
and you'll need to toggle where it has the invert minus, invert plus, and invert home, and make them X's. This will set them up for normally closed configuration rather than normally open. Let's engage the home switch. Check the status. It says home switch X home tripped. Now check the minus minus limit switch X minus minus tripped. And now check the plus plus and the limit switch X plus plus tripped. I hope this information was helpful in connecting the limits and emergency stop to the Pokies 57 CNC controller. Thank you for watching.